can start a design in the Arcadia BIM system by inserting a view in the project manager window or by choosing an option we want to start drawing with, like inserting a wall for example. Then a building and a level will be added automatically. First, we indicate the beginning of the wall. We can enable ortho from the status bar or use the F8 key. We show the direction, enter the length and confirm with enter. Then we show the direction, enter the length and press enter for another wall. We can insert a wall without defining it and modify it later if necessary. Alternatively, we can insert a ready multi-layer wall. We enter its properties and define the layers, such as foamed polystyrene, for example. We can change its thickness and add another layer. A material can be found in the global library by typing the beginning of its name in the search text box. Defining a layer type properly is very important because wall copings are inserted automatically above the supporting structure layer after it is covered using the ceiling automatically option. Also, lintels are inserted above windows and doors in the supporting structure and standard layers. When we draw a wall, we often need the wall axis. By default, it is situated 12.5 cm from the lower wall edge. We can type the proper value describing its position or select a layer where we want this axis to be and then press the centering option in the layer list in the axis column. A defined wall can be added to the global and or project library so that we don't need to repeat the procedure when creating new walls. For further reference, a wall's name should contain as much information as possible such as its thickness and layers. If we press save in the global library we will be able to use it in subsequent designs. Thanks to entity snaps, which can be enabled on the toolbar or on the draw tab, we can start drawing a wall very precisely. Additionally, tracking options facilitate inserting objects through detecting existing objects. This way, we can create our own drawings quickly and accurately. If we want to modify the existing walls, we can always enter their properties dialog box and define such a wall, or we can select the wall we have just saved from the project library. The wall will be automatically replaced. Also, we can select the wall and use the type pointer option to copy the information about the layers from it and move the data to another wall. In this way, we can modify existing objects. We're back to drawing a wall. Let's select it from the global library and then insert it at a 300 cm distance from the wall that was inserted before. Entity snaps help to precisely indicate a room corner we move the cursor while showing the direction of the measured distance. We type the value and confirm with enter. By default, a wall is drawn with its axis, while our value is supposed to be the room width. This is why we have to switch the insertion line to wall edge on the item bar 
Now we are drawing a wall. As the walls in the project are diverse, we can divide them into groups. It is done in the Project Manager window. We right-click Walls and select the Add Group option. We are going to divide the walls into two categories, external and internal. We are dividing the internal group into two categories again, supporting and standard walls, although it is possible to divide it in any other way that suits our needs. The division into groups is optional, but it will make future objects editing easier. Now we are going to assign walls to groups. To do this, we have to select the proper group of objects in the Project Manager window and right-click Select Objects. As we only want to select external walls, we have to unselect internal walls using the Shift key. Then we click on the external group and select Add Selected Objects to Group with a right click. We can change the color for such a group. If we want to add one wall to a group, we have to select it, right click on the target group and left click Add Selected Objects to Group again. We enter other walls by selecting them from the global library and using the reference option for example. We indicate reference points, a direction and confirm with enter. The same procedure will be followed for subsequent walls. We are adding the inserted walls to the standard group. Walls can be lengthened and shortened. To do either, we can use the blue grips, but the Extend Trim Wall option is the action bar is more precise. This option gives us the possibility to select Reference from the Prompt box. Using it, we can lengthen an object by a given value. We indicate the place from which this value is calculated and a drawing direction and then confirm. Now we can copy the wall and create a 185 centimeter long room. If we select an object and click its inserting options on the ribbon, the selected object, a wall in this case, will be copied, including all its parameters to the group it belongs to. If we want to insert separate utility functions in one room, we use the virtual wall option. Then we have no real walls inserted, but instead we have the possibility to create a living room and a kitchenette in one space. Virtual walls are inserted like regular walls. We can use the tracking option and entity snaps. The level projection has been outlined with walls.